what's up it's your girl tangy with ladies in full effect ladies in full effect and i'm just coming today to talk a little bit about prayer it's been on my heart to talk about it to pray <laughs> pray about it to just really hone in on the power of prayer and i'm going to share just five simple things that help me enhance my prayer life believe it or not i'm still trying to enhance my prayer life i'm always trying to find better ways to pray to talk to god to have that intimate time with him and to be able to share but not just talk listen to let God talk to me. You know, prayer is a form of communication. It's not just a one thing and it works both ways. Um, and I just wanted to just share and just pour into you guys and hopefully somebody be able to get something out of it to be able to enhance their prayer life. I know it's one of those things that sometimes is not the easiest thing for us to do. We have to remember to do it. We have to take time to do it. Sometimes we do it at nighttime, and we'll talk about that in a second. You know, when we're sleepy, all of those things factor into it. But the Word of God talks about praying on all occasions and for everything. And it also teaches us how to pray, which is a great tool because I know many, many of you, just like myself, have seen the power of prayer and what it can do in our lives um, and the lives of the people that we intercede on behalf of. So the first thing is, you know, we learn our prayers at night and when we pray over our food. I know in my culture, that's what we learn. That's how we learn about prayer. That's the first step. But prayer can exceed that. Let's try to pray more during the daytime in the morning when you first wake up all throughout the day let's not just solidify prayer at night before we go to bed that's number one number two let's try to pray with the spirit of thanksgiving the word of god says in everything give thanks and let's just try you know not to just come to god with a list of things that we want but definitely a list of things that we're thankful for. That attitude of gratitude can go a long way. And can you imagine the father of all things who is the giver of everything, including our lives, to just simply say thank you and to acknowledge what you're thanking him for? I mean, you can spend about, you can spend hours really just thanking him and not even get into the part about what you want him to do. That's That just, you know, um, uh, highlights the prayers that we send up. So that's number two. Number three, let's just identify who God is in our prayers. You know, sometimes we got to take time out and just identify who he is. And that's what it means when they say magnify him. It's like making him, you know, just out to be who he really is and not minimizing the, the impact that he has on our lives. So that's number three. Number four, let's try some corporate prayer. Corporate prayer means that let's not always pray alone. What about with a friend, with a family member, with a loved one, with a co-worker, with a church member, whoever, you know, the power of prayer, again, you know, it's backed up with the word of God. When two or more join, God says he'll be in the midst. And sometimes that is our intercession with people who can pray on our behalf because sometimes we know what we want to pray for, but we don't really know how to formulate the words to come out of our mouths. So that's number four. And then number five, speaking of prayers coming out of our mouths, let's use the opportunity not to just pray like this or pray with our hands, like, you know, together. Let's use that as an opportunity to pray out loud and just say, Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I come to you just thanking you for everything that you have done, you will do, and you're doing right now in the lives of your people, including myself. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. You see how I'm praying out loud? Thank you for all things. And just allow your yourself to hear your voice. Don't be shy. A lot of times we're shy. I've been there before, you know, and we kind of recluse and we seclude away because we don't, we don't think that our prayer sounds as good as the next person. But God wants to hear your voice. Even the simplest, you know, prayer is sometimes the strongest prayer. So that's my five principles. You know, try to pray more often throughout the day. Number one. Number two, give thanks you know, give, give Thanksgiving. Number three, just acknowledge God for who he is. Number four, try some corporate prayer, get a prayer partner. Hey, I'm all, I'm open to be your prayer partner. And number five, just praying out loud.
Anyway, I hope somebody was able to get something out of this. Peace.